Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here. So I'm here and I'm looking right now into August the 9th and August the 10th is 2023. Happy birthday to the lovely sign of Leo. So I really do hope that you are enjoying your birthday. Let's see what we have from here. Bad health flips out right away. All right, let's see. We have right here house. Message please, for spirits. And we have right here the gift card. Okay, let's see here. At the bottom of the deck, we have this child card right here. Okay. So let me see what we have here. And this deck here. So we have right here bad health. All right, this deck I'm going to be using to clarify things is called um, Intuit Tarot. I'm going to get a couple of psychic cards right here first. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, August the 9th and August the 10th is 2023. Okay, at the bottom of the deck right here we have firm foundation. Alright, so we have right here the two of wands waiting game. We have right here the heart chakra, and we also do have right here the hanged man sacrifice card here. Okay, so let's see. The waiting game. And here we have bad health right here. So let's see. What's this waiting game card, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. So I feel like somebody was waiting for something to sprout up or they was waiting to do something right here because we see the roots down here, right? And then up here we do see something growing. So I feel like somebody was waiting for something to grow. And somebody, what's the waiting game? Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Something could be about a Capricorn. The seen the devil and the um King of Wands. I mean King of Pentacles. Find light within right here. Winter Solstice. Now this one right here does say about a year or more. Somebody was waiting for a year or more for something right here. Something else right here. Okay, yeah. King of Swords could be a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like they were sitting here waiting for something here for a year or more. Okay. So I just feel like some clarity came here to somebody here now, okay, about something here they was waiting for for a year or more. Because, see, the King of Swords is somebody here that is um, very intelligent, I can, I can sense right here. Now, it says mind over matter right here. So somebody that's very intelligent, okay. Here it could be the truth right here. Maybe somebody here was curious about something right here, right, and then the truth came. Could be the case right here. All right, what's the message? The fool. Yeah, I feel like, see, the fool, I feel like you was hesitant or stagnating. So somebody got curious something right here over, about something, okay? And I feel like they got the truth right here with the King of Swords. Could be Aries. Yeah, see, it says only fools rush in. So I feel like somebody's hesitant, they stagnating. They was, like, curious about something here. Why somebody was stagnating and hesitant, right? Maybe you make mind over matter decisions. This is an Aries, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe, okay? Yeah, Libra, okay? Seven of Swords, mm-hmm. See? So this is what happened here. Somebody was waiting for a year or more for something right here. I feel like with the full card right here, somebody was very hesitant and stagnating to do something right here. So somebody here got curious. Why is they stagnating and hesitant right here? Okay, because I feel like you was making a mind over matter decision or some truth came to them why you were stagnant or hesitant right here. Okay, see, something here is going to be fair and just. It's going to be a cause and effect right here for them to be cheating and lying in some type of way. Okay, if they're cheating and lying right here, it's a cause and effect for it some type of way. And that could be why some energy right here was stagnated or was hesitant, I kind of feel. All right. Somebody could have thought over here you was going to rush in to do something in some way. I feel like, you know, you waited out. Or that could be the answer. Wait it out first and see. About something right here. Okay, yeah, six of cups right here. Yeah, see. Somebody was wondering over here why you didn't come back to the past. Why you never looked back to them. Somebody was wondering that, I feel, right here. Because something here wasn't what it seems to be. And that right there was going to be fair and just. Or that's a cause and effect for it not being what it seemed to be in some way. Maybe it even had to do with health. 
could be the case here for bad health. Right. What's the bad health part right here? So I'm getting like your, your um nurse is Leanne or Leanna. Somebody's name is Leanne or something like that. What's the bad health? Yeah. Okay, it could be a father right here. It could be an Aries for some people right here. Okay. Um See, that's exactly what I'm getting right here, okay? Either, there's two things I'm getting right here for some people right here, okay? Somebody's health is going to be restored over here. It could be an Aries. Maybe it is because this right here says harmony restored in reverse right here, okay? The five of wands is somebody that's coming out the conflict, coming out of some misunderstand you in some type of way so harmony is restored for some people right here and somebody's health okay um that's one way i'm getting for some people here others right here something could be going on with their health so it's not personal reading here okay but something could be going on with their health but i feel like for some people here their health is restored all right but ace of coins reverse it says a risky endeavor okay this here could be somebody could have thought right here see the ace of coins reverse could be that somebody thought right here you was going to get a money for help. Could be the case. Okay? And with the full card reverse, maybe you was hesitant to do it. That's one way it could be. Okay? I just also feel on the flip side of the coin though here, that somebody could did a risky endeavor right here and actually help this person's health. That's another way it could be here. Okay? Could they help their health? Either way, I feel like they're listening to their gut right here, the spiritual mastery. They're going to listen to their gut right here about it. So listen to your gut, I feel, about it. Somebody could have thought right here you wasn't going to listen to your gut right here. Maybe somebody thought you just want to get them some money, something here about health. Or because they was having a health concern, could be the case. I feel like you listen to your gut if you should get them some money or not. It could be the case here. Then some of you and your intuition, maybe you knew to get them some money for health in some way. And maybe they did heal or they're going to for some people here. All right. But... I'm getting like, you have to make a mind over decision, hit, hit mind over matter decision. You have to listen to your intuition about some money for health or something like that. Okay, something like that, okay. The sun card right here and the, um, it's going to be revealed to you for some people right here, what option or which way to do. And for some of you, there was another possibility right here for something right here about money, Okay. But so for some people here, maybe somebody here thought right here that you would just give them the money. Maybe you told them they had to do something for the money or they have to do something and you'll do this or something like that, right? So that could be the case here. For some people, it's going to affect them over here because it's wishful thinking right here. You're just going to give them money. Something like that could be the case for some people right here. I like for some people, that was wishful thinking right here. Either way, I feel like it is revealed to you what to do about this money. And if not, I feel like you need to go inside and really think about this person with health and money or something like that could be the case here for some people here, okay? Come right here. Yeah. Yeah, see? Hmm. Some people right here. I just did another message for the collective and it was talking about this. See, this is the pride before the fall right here, right? See, somebody over here, they was in control of something right here before I got a sense. And now right here, right? Some risky endeavor they done done right here. Yeah. They didn't want to apologize for it. They didn't want to take, you know, responsibility for something right here. So it's pride before the fall in some way right here. Could be the case here. Mm -hmm. They could have thought right here, right? That this even could be your health is going to improve. I feel they consciously aware that your health will improve right here. Okay, but some of you something here was about a magic spell and somebody's health. Now I'm not sure if you did a risky endeavor and paid for something here for somebody's health. I feel for some people right here. Okay. <sighs> the emperor and the magician. Mm -hmm. Some people, this magic they was doing for some people right here, it's going to backlash on them and it's going to affect their health for some people right here. It's going to affect their health for some people right here. It's going to affect them for some people right here. If they, if they was being manipulative or something like that right here about health in some way, they're going to fall. Some people right here, they're going to fall. Okay. If they was, okay. But the heart chakra here, maybe here's something about the heart. Could be the case, right? And then we have a house card right here. Alright, what's the heart chakra? The 
the lovers ace of swords see i feel like some of you right here right mm -hmm. somebody's aware of what somebody's doing about a house in some way they, they're very much aware about it okay because ace of swords right here and a three of coins this is awareness right here about what somebody's preparing to do in the future or if they should work together with somebody right here in the future okay about a house or something like that it could be a gemini right here, right here with a lover's card yeah this is about laying a foundation right here with a gemini or a lover right here okay i'm getting like yeah you, you're aware right here if you should follow your heart or if you should make a, a mind over matter decision some people right here could be about a health concern for some people here others we got a house over here okay so it's one of those things that we're talking about right now okay but the queen of wands okay this is somebody here that's confident they suffer short right here and you're beautiful too look at you right hmm. what's the way to your heart or something hmm. Yeah, see, some of you right here, that's what I'm getting here. For some people, it's going to affect their health right here. Some, some magic spell they was doing, it's going to ricochet to somebody right here, I feel. All right, because somebody's coming out of dark. This says dark to light. I feel like they're coming out of dark right here now, right? Exactly that somebody even knows what they were trying to do in the future for some people here, what they were preparing to do. They know about it right here, okay? Because it's too hard right here, Ten of Wands. It's too hard right here to either communicate right here with you or to get something going in some type of way concerning the heart matter because somebody either knows a third party or they know what somebody's planning to do in some way here. Some way they know that right here. And they're confident about it right here. What's the house card? Yeah. So I feel like with the chariot right here, right, the strength of will, right, to keep on keeping on. Or something here is about a cancer in a house, cancer season, what to do about a house, okay? If something here is too hard in this particular house and you want to move to a new house, I feel like that you do know. You know that right now for some people right here, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. What's the house card right here? See, houses even carry energy. To be the case, be some energy in some house or something like that. Let me see here. Um, nine of cups right here and the two of wands right here. Here's what I'm getting right here, okay? You might have to do some heart chakra meditation for some people here. Work with the energy of your heart, the heart chakra. So kind of feel right here. Um, because I feel like right here, right? You had a fork in the road. Yes, I know wrong and right right here. About a house for some people here. A vehicle, traveling, something like that. Now, some of you, you may really feel like trapped right here. It's the self entrapment card, Eight of Swords, about being able to manifest your dream in some way, right? Um, but I feel like that's just a trap. I feel like you have to work with the heart chakra energy right now, okay? Because that energy right there is going to be something that I feel like will be helpful right here, being able to manifest and, and or something like that. I'm getting right here with the heart chakra right here. This is also about empathy, forgiveness. Some of you, somebody's powerless at letting you forget. Somebody's powerless right here. Not, not saying you're not going to forgive them. Maybe you will. Okay, maybe you will forgive somebody for something right here. But that doesn't mean they have a chance with you. Could be the case. It, it could be follow your heart right here. I'm getting right here for some of you. Or make a mind of a matter decision about something you was following your heart about. Is this something I can just follow my heart about? Or do I have to make a mind of a matter decision? Could be something here about a cancer and cancer season or a house. Something around that time right there. Okay. 
Sometimes we just know that we know that we know something right here. It can't be expressed in words. I just know something right here. It could be the case right here. There's something about a house for some people right here. Okay. I got too many threes here. Look at that three. Right. And um, three and a three. Right. This is talking about really um, having a Christ consciousness right here. Right. Listen to your gut. This also made me feel like uh, some rewards is coming around the house in some way. Okay, I feel like it's coming around the house with some people right here. Um, to help you to release negative emotions in some type of way right here about this house situation right here. You have to work with your heart chakra energy about a house for some people right here. Some of you could be shedding a lot of tears about something. Maybe you're happy. Maybe you're happy about a house now. What else right here, please? King of Coins. Three of Cups. I'm here with somebody wants you to forgive them. There's something right here about this house in a cancer or in cancer season. Something about that happened right there, cancer season in a house. Okay. The king of coins right here and a three of um, cups. They want to reconcile right here with you. It could be a, um, a husband, a Taurus, Capricorn, or a girl. So there's hanging, my, hanging man right here in the gift. Let's see here. Where's the sacrifice, girl? Two of cups right here. Could be a relationship right here. Yes. Somebody's stuck right here. They want you to do like a love and exchange with them. Yeah. But I just feel like you believe in yourself. You're not going to give up right here. Something about somebody's true love or soulmate right here. Some truth right here. the case. Some truth is right here. Somebody definitely could be spying on you right here. I feel like somebody's stuck right here. They're just spying on you. They know you believe in yourself right here. About something right here. I feel like somebody here did want to, um, you know, like give you some type of romantic gesture right here. Or they wanted to open back up or they wanted to. They stuck how to offer you love or something like that. See how this one right here just sitting there singing like, you know. But it's like I'm stuck right here. Because I feel like some truth could be here about a house or something like that could be the case. So that's right here, please. Yeah. It's just like somebody's subconscious or something like that. I feel like. You know, somebody in their subconscious, they know some truth right here about a house or something like that. Somebody they know about it. could be, you know, I just feel like the invisible force right here, the subconscious, right? The moon card. It just really feels like right here that um, there's, some, there's a challenge here some way. Somebody knows there's a challenge here some way. Okay. They know some challenges here. Okay, this even through the tower right here, the seven of wands, something here could be revealed. The tower is a revelation right here. The seven of wands could be something here that was a challenge or defensive or something like that, right? Um, maybe something was revealed that was hidden could be the case with those two. Okay. Right. I feel like something has happened in the subconscious right here, invisible force. It even could have had somebody to spy on somebody here or get curious about something right here, right? And then something could be revealed. Somebody has a gift, I feel right here, with this one right here. They have a gift. For the case, what's the match right here? Yeah, Queen of Cups could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio right here. Okay. Too many cards right here. The world card right here. Okay. So somebody wants a new start right here with you. I did also feel like somebody has a gift. Maybe something completed right here. Something about the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. 
or somebody had um was spying or well, somebody got curious something to reveal about a cancer pike is a scorpio in here so we have um the new moon which is coming up right here something is fake about the new moon is coming up i feel like it is um what is it august the 20th i think i'm not sure the exact date but the new moon is coming up right here something here is going to be fake right here it's a turning point in somebody's life right here okay i feel I feel like somebody here is going to resist surrender in some type of way, right? Clarity. Hang on, remember versus clarity. So clarity comes right here. I'm getting like, um, yeah, within one month for the next new moon. Okay. What's this uh, firm foundation card up here? Four of swords right here. Firm foundation is a relationship, a marriage, a house, something like that it could be. Okay. The Empress right here. It could be divine feminine right here. Taurus or Libra. Ace of Wands. Somebody wants a new start right here with you. I feel they really do. Or a mother. Okay. The Ten of Coins right here. Ten of Swords. So for some people right here, I'm getting light. Right. Um, somebody does want a passion new start right here with you. Maybe it is to give and receive money right here with you. Maybe they want to have a legacy right here with you. But I just feel like by the next new moon, some decision is definitely made about it in some way, I kind of feel. Okay. And then we had the four of swords right here. I feel like somebody's contemplating about these things right here. Okay. What's the child card? And we have the eight of coins right here. And we have knight of wands right here. So I feel like right here, some this you could be the child, all right? Could be a younger fire sign child. I just feel like so, some of you, something new is happening now with this child. Maybe this child is skilled, or you're gonna put hard work now into this child in some way. Because the eight of coins is about putting the hard work and being focused in some type of way. Yeah. Right here. I see I feel like you're gonna see some investments right here concerning a child for some people right here. I feel like your child right here, you're gonna see all types of investments. This child might have a, a, a burst full of energy to do things right here, I feel. Okay, I feel like you'll be celebrating a child for some people right here very soon. Okay, there's good energy around a child coming up, I feel. Okay, yeah. Five of cups right here is reverse. That's healing. Healing now comes. It says it right here, see? It says overcoming despair. Let's see now if I can do this. Okay, there it go. So overcoming despair right here about a child in some way. If this child was bored, I feel like they're about to have a lot of energy or things to do, excitement, okay? Anyway, that's what I have right here. Thank you so much for taking a look. We'll get back together again soon. I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. And I'm going to stay to all of you.